This is the Remotion repository. It's an interesting project that lets you make videos with a React-like syntax. I've downloaded the repository and installed all the dependencies. And you can see this repo is a monorepo with multiple packages, and they're controlled using Lerna. Now if we run npm run test, this will run tests for all the packages in the repository. You can see down here it took 17 seconds. Now let's add nx to this repository and see what benefits those give us. Just run npx add nx to mono repo. Now what this has done is that it's gone through the repository and for each package.json that it finds, it's created an entry in the workspace.json file. So it found remotion bundler, remotion CLI, remotion, uh, remotion template, create video, and a few others. Unfortunately, remotion template is just some template files that's not actually intended as a separate package itself. So we need to help the script out a little bit and delete that from here and also from the nx.json. Now, let's run this command that got spit out by the script. Except we'll run the target test instead of build. This will run all the projects in our mono repo, the test command against them, and run them in, a, in parallel. Okay, so now you see because they're running in parallel, instead of taking 17 seconds, it took 12 seconds. Now, NX also has built-in computation caching, which allows us to know that since the, nothing has changed in the code, we can run that same command again, and it will spit out the exact same results with taking a lot less time. So let's run this again. And it took less than a second, so the time doesn't even display here. And you can see that NX has read the output from cache instead of running the command for six out of six projects. We can also examine the way nx views the repository by running nx dependency graph. And now if we choose select all, it'll show us all the dependencies between the projects in this repository.